Joyce Compton, a classic actress from the past, made a lasting impression on the big screen. Which of her movies do you really like? Do you have a special memory link to this experienced actor? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned for some interesting, surprising, and even touching facts about her. Your favorite memories might just match up with some cool surprises on the way. Keep watching for all the details and don't forget to share your own stories. Born on January 27, 1907, in Lexington, Kentucky, Joyce Compton's early years set the stage for her future in entertainment. Growing up in a modest household, she inherited a love for performance from her mother, a vaudeville performer. Joyce's family moved to Los Angeles, California during her childhood, exposing her to the growing film industry. This move was crucial, placing her in the heart of the cinematic world during its golden age and sparking her fascination with acting. In her teens, she ventured into Hollywood, driven to make a name for herself in entertainment. Despite facing auditions and early rejections, her determination paid off. At 18 in 1925, she landed her debut role in The Sporting Venus, marking the start of her film career. The interwar period brought significant changes to entertainment, and Joyce adapted to the evolving industry demands. Her career gained momentum with roles in silent films and early talkies. Notably, her part in The Plastic Age in 1925 showcased her comedic talent, establishing her niche in entertainment. Joyce Compton's career thrived in the 1930s, making her a recognizable face in Hollywood. Her comedic timing and charm set her apart, leading to collaborations with directors and fellow actors. While not a leading lady, her contributions to the silver screen were undoubtedly valuable. Throughout her career, Joyce showcased versatility, seamlessly transitioning between genres. From comedy to drama, she displayed a range that endeared her to audiences, resonating with viewers and securing her place in Hollywood history. In conclusion, Joyce Compton's early life, shaped by a passion for performance and nurtured in Hollywood's dynamic environment, laid the foundation for a decades spanning career. Her journey from a young girl in Kentucky to a beloved actress in the golden age of cinema reflects the resilience and determination that defined her path in entertainment. Joyce Compton, a familiar face in Hollywood, found her niche with distinctive portrayals of Southern-accented, seemingly naive characters. Throughout her career, she often played the archetypal dumb blonde, showcasing comedic prowess. Beyond Hollywood's glitz, she found solace in simple pleasures. Gardening, painting, and dress designing weren't just pastimes, they were outlets for her creativity. These hobbies provided balance to the glamorous cinema world, revealing a different facet of her personality. In 1925, she entered the film world, starting a journey spanning decades. Notably, her debut role at 18 in The Sporting Venus marked the beginning. In early Hollywood years involved auditions, rejections, and unwavering determination. The interwar period brought changes, and she adapted seamlessly to evolving industry demands. Despite on-screen success, her personal life had its narrative. After a brief spell of married bliss in 1956, she spent most of her life living with her parents. However, dedication to family didn't deter her from pursuing diverse interests. In an unexpected turn, she left the glitz of Hollywood behind to become a part-time nurse. This shift showcased a different side, emphasizing a commitment to care and service. Joyce Compton's journey wasn't just about acting, it embraced life's diverse experiences. Transitioning from a beauty contest winner to a part-time nurse reflects a woman navigating the complexities of both real and real life. In summary, with distinctive characters and diverse interests, she left a lasting impression on Hollywood. Seamlessly switching between roles, both on and off the screen, showcases an individual whose influence goes beyond conventional Hollywood narratives. Joyce Compton navigated the Hollywood scene with ups and downs, showcasing her resourcefulness in donning her own outfits in many low-budget films. Despite the lack of glitz, she earned a spot on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, recognizing her contributions across various movie genres and her unique comedic timing. Off-screen, Joyce formed a genuine friendship with actress Clara Bow that went beyond scripted lines, revealing the camaraderie amidst the Hollywood lights. Known for her portrayal of Southern-accented, seemingly naive characters, Joyce's comedic prowess in the dumb blonde archetype delighted audiences. Beyond the laughter, Joyce found solace in simple pleasures like gardening, painting, and dress designing, balancing the on-screen glamour. A surprising turn in her life was the decision to become a part-time nurse, stepping away from Hollywood's spotlight. 
This shift highlighted a commitment to care and service, unveiling a different side of her personality in both real and real life. In conclusion, Joyce Compton's journey was more than a Hollywood tale. It was a story marked by resilience, determination, and unexpected twists. From her resourceful approach to movie wardrobes to off-screen friendships and the surprising shift to nursing, Joyce's narrative goes beyond conventional expectations, leaving a lasting impression on the cinematic landscape. Amidst the glamour of Hollywood, Joyce Compton faced constant pressure to stay young. The film industry, obsessed with eternal youth, burdened her with societal expectations. Despite her talent, conforming to these norms was a challenge for actresses like her. Joyce's career was diverse, showcasing not only her acting skills, but also her ability to navigate Hollywood's challenges. Her portrayal of seemingly naive characters, especially the dumb blonde archetype, became her trademark. However, off-screen, she was a multifaceted woman with a love for gardening, painting, and dress designing simple pleasures that countered the demands of Hollywood. Seeking a break from the spotlight, Joyce made an unexpected move to become a part-time nurse. This shift revealed a caring side of her, departing from the glitz of Hollywood for a commitment to service. It emphasized her willingness to embrace experiences beyond the real world. Joyce's resourcefulness in creating her own outfits for low-budget films showcased her practical approach. Despite the lack of glamour, she earned a spot on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, recognizing her unique comedic timing and contributions across genres. Her genuine friendship with Clara Bow, extending beyond scripted lines, highlighted camaraderie amidst the Hollywood lights. In conclusion, Joyce Compton's journey, marked by the pressure to stay young, unexpected career shifts, and genuine friendships, goes beyond the conventional Hollywood narrative. Her story is a testament to resilience, determination, and the ability to find balance amidst the challenges of a demanding industry. A woman of depth and substance, Joyce's influence extends far beyond the frames of the silver screen, leaving an enduring impact on the cinematic landscape. Joyce Compton, a blonde actress known for playing characters with less intelligence, made a significant impact on us films from 1925 to the early 50s. In the late 1920s, she briefly engaged with Joel McCrea. Her Hollywood journey started with two real comedies for Max Sennett, and later she played the role of a dumb blonde alongside comedians like Bobby Clark, Paul McCullough, and Charlie Chase. In Hollywood, Joy Show would resourcefulness by designing her own outfits for low-budget films. Despite the lack of glamour, she earned a spot on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, recognizing her work in various movie genres and her unique comedic timing. Early in her career, she seamlessly transitioned between silent films and talkies, finding success in the sporting Venus in 1925, showcasing her comedic talent. While not a leading lady, Joyce's versatility in moving between genres endeared her to audiences. Joyce's personal life had its story a brief period of married bliss in 1956 follow would buy a return to living with her parents. However, her dedication to family did not stop her from pursuing diverse interests. An unexpected turn led her to become a part-time nurse, emphasizing her commitment to care and service, revealing a different side of her personality in both real and real life. Amidst Hollywood's pressure to stay young, Joyce faced societal expectations while portraying seemingly naive characters, especially the dumb blonde archetype. Off-screen, she found solace in gardening, painting, and dress designing simple pleasures countering Hollywood's demands. Joyce's unexpected move to become a part-time nurse showcased her caring side, departing from Hollywood's glitz for a commitment to service. This shift highlighted her willingness to embrace experiences beyond the real world. Her genuine friendship with Clara Bow, extending beyond scripted lines, highlighted camaraderie amidst the Hollywood lights. In conclusion, Joyce Compton's journey, marked by unexpected career shifts, resilience, and genuine friendships, goes beyond the conventional Hollywood narrative. Her story shows the ability to find balance amidst the challenges of a demanding industry. A woman of depth and substance, Joyce's influence extends far beyond the frames of the silver screen, leaving a lasting mark on the cinematic landscape.